see how the world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Cherry and today I have a really fun video. It is a Dizzy collection tag. And actually where it came from was, I have been asked by a lot of you to show off my collection and um, or asked more about my collection, like about my pin collection and different things. And I decided that I thought it would be really fun to do a Disney tag, a Disney collection tag tag. So I created this tag. It's called Look at This Stuff, Isn't It Neat? Yes, just like my girl Ariel's song, Look at This Stuff, Isn't It Neat? And it's basically about her hoarding problem and I support her. You know, she she needs a song to cope and, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but really though, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? A Disney collection tag. That is what we're doing today. And a couple of my awesome Disney friends who I have connected with over the last few months are going to be uh, part of this tag. Some of them are dropping their videos today. Others are dropping them in a few days. Um, but some people that are dropping today are Nikki from Seriously Introverted. Nikki is my childhood best friend and obviously still my best friend. She's gonna be dropping her video today, as well as Christina with Playdates and Travels, and Karen from Karen's USA Adventures, and then a couple of people that are dropping really soon are gonna be Mariah from Mariah's Whole New World. She's in Disney World, so she's got a great excuse. And also, Jessica Meredith from Jessica Meredith, and I am really looking forward to seeing what you ladies have in store with this tag. It's gonna be so much fun. And also, if you guys wanna do this tag, please, please do it. I would love to see what your Disney collection is. Also, if you don't have a YouTube channel, feel free to just leave that information below. Let me know what you might have in your collection um, that you want to uh, tell me about. I would love that. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna be tagging a few more of my Disney friends that I didn't have time to reach out to to see if they would be interested. So guys, let's get started on this tag. Now this tag has 16 questions, or 16 categories I should say, and the first category is favorite Mickey Mouse item. So I had a lot of Mickey Mouse items to choose from, however, the one that I chose is probably the most sentimental to me. It is the Disney, Run Disney 2017 Coast to Coast Half Metal, Half Marathon Metal, excuse me, I can't talk. Um, but it is of the partner statue, and it has Walt and Mickey there, and it says Disneyland, Disney World. It's the 10th anniversary, 10 years running. Um, and if you guys don't know, they don't do Coast to Coast anymore. I hope that sometime they will start that up again because I would love to get another one of these medals. But um, this one meant a lot to me um, when I crossed the finish line in Florida, I got my coast to coast and I started crying. It's just like, it just meant so much to do that race. I had been dreaming of that race for many, um, many years and, and finally it happened um, in 2017 and so it was just a really exciting time. So I have to say my medal. The next category is favorite Disney piece of artwork. So I actually have a collection that I'm going to show you and it's right above my head. A lot of people don't know but I have a huge Jasmine Beckett Griffith collection and she is the, the artist that um, paints the uh, big eyed princesses and Disney characters and actually I just got a new um, a new one from her. Um, this is Ariel with Flotsam and Jetsam. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. One of my favorite parts about that collection is the centerpiece which is another Ariel Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and what I love about that is that Prince Eric is in it, the statue of Prince Eric is in it, and I just, you know how I feel about Prince Eric, so um, that's why if I had to choose one, that is my ultimate art piece, is the centerpiece of my Jasmine Beckett Griffith collection. The next category is a favorite princess item, and this was really hard for me to decide, but I think what I received in the mail today completely trumps all of the things that I have of Ariel because you guys know that Ariel is my favorite princess. And it is the brand new duffel bag from Danielle Nicole and it is the kiss the girl scene. This thing is amazing, you guys. 
Here it is. You probably can't see me. It's massive, but it's got the boat detail on the bottom. And what I really, I hope I can um, show you this on camera, but this bag is beautiful. The leather, or I'm not sure if this is leather, but the material that it's made of is like navy metallic. And then Ariel's bow is glitter. And I just think this is so beautiful. And then look at this thing. Oof. So there's Flounder and the fish that sing in the Kiss the Girl scene. And the thing that I like about this is how practical it is. Like it actually has one of the uh, little snaps that go over the two handles, which I feel a lot of these like novelty bags that you get just aren't very practical and they did this one right and I'm so pleased. They have an older over the shoulder strap plus this and on the inside, the inside is just plain gray, but it does have an inside zipper pocket and it has two other pockets on the other side. I'm just very impressed with it. And it also does have the metal feet, so it doesn't actually touch the ground. So the design of this bag, I thought was flawless. They did such a great job. And this is still available on dnhhandbags.com, Danielle Nicole. Um, I will link all this information below. It was $138 if anyone wanted to know how much it was. Um, but I am in love with it. I'm going to Disney in just a few days. Like. You guys will be seeing this on Thursday. I will be leaving on Friday to go to Disney World. And I plan on taking this just super cash, not extra at all, just bringing it onto the plane. Just like, hey guys, going to Disney. And everyone's gonna be like, oh, look at her bag. Or that's what I'm assuming they're going to say. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun though. I'm so, I'm so into it. It's a little bit much, but I also kind of love that at the same time. <laughs> okay, the next item is favorite, or the next category, I keep saying item. The next category is favorite Disney plush. So, story time. Um, I'm 32 and I can't sleep without my teddy bear. <laughs> like literally, okay. You guys know I'm obsessed with Lotso. This is no, like, not a surprise, but here's my Lotso. He's very worn, as you can tell, his little feet. Um, but here he is. I sleep with him every single night, and I swear to you, this plush was made for snuggling. Like, he is the perfect size. Like, he fits, like, he fits so well. Like, underneath your chin and arm, like, there's a reason why he's called Lotso Huggin' Bear, like no joke. But his little tag is so worn, like you actually cannot even read any, it's just blank. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, it's just a blank tag. Like there's no ink left on the tag and he fits perfectly in all of my suitcases and I do travel for work and I do bring him along because I can't sleep without him. <laughs> So you guys will have to let me know down below. Are you one of those people that like has to sleep with a stuffed animal? Because I am very serious in saying that I cannot sleep without a stuffed animal. Like I am that person. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's my Lotso. He's my favorite plush because I like can't live without him. So that's my little friend. The next category is favorite pair of ears. So this is a complicated question for me because I make ears and I love ears. And um, so I just kind of feel like I have like this never ending amount of ears in my house at all times. But my two favorite, they've always been my favorite, their favorite standby for me are my Gerald ears because Gerald is my favorite side character. I think he's absolutely hilarious. So there's Gerald with his unibrow detail and then the off, off, off on the back. And in Disneyland, they now have a Gerald billboard. So if you guys like Gerald or you like Becky, Becky's also in it. Um, she, uh, yeah, it, it's about like pollution, like don't pollute our waters. And I will actually pop an image up here to show you. Um, I took a picture with my ears and also I got a Finding Gerald shirt, which is so cute. And I got to wear it in front of the Pixar Pier billboard that they just put up. And I was so excited that they finally recognized Gerald. So anyway, that was really exciting. So these ears have always been my fave, but 
Recently, in January, I got to meet Prince Eric for the first time, and I got him to sign these ears, so it actually says, Love, Prince Eric. It's kind of hard to see because I had him sign in a metallic silver because I thought it would be really beautiful with the sunset. And then on the back, of course, it says, but daddy, I love him. And this just commemorates like a really cool experience for me and like a monumental moment in my like Disney life where I got to meet my favorite prince. So yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> I got so excited about Eric, I'm like sweating. Okay, next is favorite free souvenir. So, I have a lot of free souvenirs, so it was a little bit hard for me to choose. But this one really, I don't know why, I just really like it. I don't know if you guys know this, um, or if you guys do this, let me know down below. But when we were at some of the fancier restaurants, we would ask if we could keep the menus, and generally they allowed us to keep the menus. So, I got the menu from Cinderella's Royal Table. Excuse the glare, I'll try to make it to where it's a little bit simpler to see. Um, but what I thought was so beautiful about this is like it's a stained glass detail and I thought that that was just so, so pretty. This menu was just beautiful. And then on the back of the menu it has like the Cinderella's birds and then look, Gus and Jacques on the bottom. And. Cinderella is my mom's favorite movie, and this was the first time that I had ever been to Cinderella's Royal Table, and it just had a little bit of like sentimental value to me because we got to see, we ate during Happily Ever After, and it was just, it was a really neat experience. So this is my favorite free item that I got. So you'll have to let me know down below if you guys have kept menus from some of the fancier restaurants in Disney. Um, and what we do is we just asked our waiter or waitress, like, hey, do you mind if we keep the menus? And, and they've said yes at Be Our Guest and at Cinderella's Royal Table. So I don't know if they do that elsewhere, but it's just an experience that we, that we have. The next category is favorite attraction item. So I'm actually wearing one of my favorite attraction items. This is the 100 Acre Hood Hatbox Ghost shirt. And it's called Hattie, obviously, um, for the Hatbox ghost and then on the uh, sleeves it says no windows and no doors and I absolutely love this shirt I just got it for the Halloween season and I am in love with it I wish that it wasn't so darn hot in Orlando because I would totally wear this to Mickey's not so scary but it's not gonna work out because it's gonna be like a hundred degrees <laughs> but this is one of my favorite items and then my next favorite item if you guys don't know this I'm a big fan of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and I got this door pin that is welcoming everyone to hell or that portion of the ride where you go to hell and inside of the doors it's got like all the little demons and then it's got the devil and I just thought that that was a really fun pin. It is a memorable scenes pin, limited edition of 2000, and it's from 2003. It is a very old pin. Um, and actually the doors don't like fully close, they kind of like swing open, you know, it's just an oldie, but it's a goodie. Um, so yeah, this Mr. Toad's Wild Ride pin is, is one of my faves. So next is a favorite Disney pin, and I am going to link up above the, uh, with a smile and a song pin tag that I just recently did because I showed my two favorite pins which happened to be a reveal conceal Ariel and Eric pin that was it had a stained glass element that I'm absolutely in love with but I have another favorite pin of mine and the reason why was it was the beginning of my pin collection so I started collecting pins in 2011 and this pin was my very first pin and it's of my boy Stitch in the Elvis costume. And I just love his expression in this pin. I just think he is so cute. So that is my favorite pin because it's the pin that started it all. 
Maybe I should not like this pin because he made me spend so much money on pins. No, he's just really cute. And that's my favorite scene in Lilo and Stitch. My mom and, well, my mom and grandma are huge and my aunts are huge Elvis fans. And so there's a little bit of like sentimental value with the Elvis Stitch. Next item is item with the most sentimental value. And so I chose my little sewing box. My mom gave this to me because we both love to sew and Gus Gus is her favorite character and so she gave this to me as a sewing box uh, to take with me uh, to Alaska and so there's Gus and Jacques and then it actually opens up and it's a little velvet box I just keep it on my shelf back here. I don't, um, I don't actually put anything in it. Um, but every time I see it, it just reminds me of my mom, and I just really love the pastel colors because um, this is a Jim Shore. And what's interesting about this Jim Shore is that it's a very, very, very light. Like I found that usually his designs are really dark and rich in colors. And I like that this one is a little bit lighter and a little bit nicer. And also I'm gonna show you the back because look at their little butts. <laughs> I think their little butts are so cute and they have these like tiny little wire uh, tails that stick out and I just, yeah, I think this is just really sweet and yeah, it reminds me of my mom, so. The next category is favorite sidekick item. So you guys are probably going to laugh at me. I am in my craft room like most of the time and I use this item as, <laughs> I use this item as something um, to like hold my pins and hold my scissors and stuff so I don't lose them. I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but like when I'm doing a project, I inevitably lose the pin and the scissors that I'm using somewhere on the table right in front of my face. Like it's incredible. So I have this flounder purse that's meant for a little child. <laughs> So here's flounder, and so this is like a plastic, right? It's like plastic and it's squishy too, so it's, I don't know what it is, maybe like a rubbery plastic? Anyway, I'm not good with materials. I don't know what material it's made out of, but I do know it's pliable and plastic. And then it's got this really beautiful, gorgeous gem detail. I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a pure sapphire uh, beads. And then it's got this really nice uh, plastic clasp. Yeah, they just really did a good job. It's probably from like some recycled bottles or, or something along those lines to keep the precious gemstones together. Um, but I hang this, <laughs> I hang this on my paper towel holder and it keeps my pins and my scissors. So it's practical. <laughs> You guys are like, that's the lamest sidekick item, Jesse. Well, I'm sorry. This is the real life we're living in right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. Next, favorite piece of Disney apparel. So, I have a lot of Disney apparel. I have a Disney apparel problem. Um, I will openly admit that and probably, let's be real here, if you're watching this video, you probably have a Disney apparel problem too. And I'm glad that we can be in this together. <laughs> um, so I have two. Uh, I couldn't choose one. It's just not fair. This one, box lunch, girl or guy, whomever's watching, guys this sweatshirt. So not only is it perfect for fall, but it's perfect for every day. No, um, it's, it's really so nice. It's like an oatmeal, heathered oatmeal color, and it looks like Chip and Dale are gonna fight. And the image is just like so nicely printed on there. And it's a little bit shorter, so it looks super cute with jeans. And I am so excited to wear this. I'm hoping um, I've been wearing it a lot, but I really hope that I can get, um, I don't know if you guys follow Rarity by Casey, but she's got a bow band that she makes that is acorns, and oh, it would go so perfect with this. So I have got to, I'll link her information down below too. She's amazing. Um, but I really want the acorn bow band to go with this because I'm one of those people that like I have to have my headband match my shirt. Um, it's just like a thing that happens. <laughs> if you can relate, let me know down below. Um, so the next is the ultimate. Like this is, if I could create the most perfect Disney shirt. Hang on, I need a drink. 
Uh, if I could create the most perfect Disney shirt, seriously guys. I couldn't because it already exists, so I can't create it, but Primark can, Primani, guys. When is Primark coming to America? Can we all simultaneously write them a letter and beg them? I know that there are a few on the East Coast, but come on, Primark. Um, anyway, I got this on eBay from my Primark dealer. Um, her name's Karen8, Karen8 on eBay. She's incredible. Um, she's got so many amazing items. Oh, I'm showing you the back. Wait, it doesn't really matter. It's an all over print. Things I like about this, Ursula, Daddy, uh, Ariel with her little toes. It's got the kiss the girl scene. It's got the scene where Prince Eric and her are dancing. It's got Flounder, Sebastian, Scuttle. It's got like Prince Eric's castle. It has when Ariel's putting a flower in daddy's hair. Like, come on. Like they couldn't have made a more perfect shirt. And I'm one of those people that I was so afraid. I was so afraid that I would lose this shirt. I bought two. <laughs> I'm like, what if one day I go to Disney and my luggage gets lost? I need a second shirt just in case. <laughs> oh, I have a problem. Um, anyway, best shirt ever. It's not available anymore. And actually this shirt is a pajama set and it did come with pants. The pants say like Mer Team Mermaid or something like on the waistband, but they're black pants and then they have a racing stripe down the side and the racing stripe is this material. Um, it's really fun. I don't ever wear the pants because I my legs are like, six feet long so they're really short on me it looks like i'm wearing like bermuda shorts um tall people problems but yeah but this shirt is everything i could have ever hoped for in my life so dreams are coming true in that shirt. Next category is favorite Star Wars or Marvel item. So Nikki crushed my dreams, my best friend, my lovely best friend, because she told me that Aquaman wasn't Marvel and I got really sad. Um, I'm not really smart when it comes to comics um, or Star Wars, so, but I will say I've seen a couple of Star Wars and, um, Oh wait, no wait, back. We gotta talk about Marvel. So I thought that Aquaman was Marvel and I was really excited because I just bought his Funko Pop and dude, his Funko Pop is hilarious. It, he's got like his eyebrows, you know how they have like the cuts in them? Like it's on the Funko. I'm like the details though. And I asked the associate at Target, I was like, so are they coming out with a shirtless version? And the guy didn't know, but Funko, if you're watching, throwing it out there. Get a shirtless Funko. Also make it more realistic. Just throwing it out there. Like the Pegasus. Like the Pegasus face is so realistic. It looks like kind of like a My Little Pony. We want to make sure we get the ab details just so. Just throw it out there. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to Star Wars. So, not a huge Star Wars fan. However, I'm in a, I'm obsessed with BB-8. And the reason why I'm obsessed with BB-8 is because there's that scene in the movie where BB-8 is talking to Finn and Finn asks him a question. He goes, and like gives him a thumbs up with his lighter. I'm like, oh, I love him. So when they had it, I'm not sure if they still have this in the parks, but this is the, oh, uh, drink container that you can get. And the thing I love about it is it looks like he's dirty. Like it looks like he's got like sand or dirt on him, but he's not. He's actually very clean. I just washed him because <laughs> he had a little bit of dust on him because I keep him on my shelf back here. Um, but yeah, he's actually very clean, but he looks a little bit dirty. And I just think that that detail is so cool because um, it looks like he's been in the desert. Um, and this did have, oh yeah, still I saw the straw inside. Gotta oil him up. Ooh, poor BB, okay. <laughs> the next category is favorite villain item. So my friend Alex from Australia has a love of Lotso, just like I do. And she sent me this amazing Lotso figurine. And I showed this in one of my prior videos, but what I love about this is that you can see the seams 
in his back. It's a plastic, hard plastic figurine, but you can see like the seaming in his back and on his neck, just as though he was sewn. And I just love that detail. I think it's so great because it just really shows you that he's a toy and it's got his little tag on his little butt. And this is the best figurine I have ever seen made of Lotso with the details. And he looks so fuzzy. And he also came with like a little L on his little play mat and it looks like one of those play mats that little kids have. And I just thought that this was obviously straight from Sunnyside. So I really, really enjoyed that. And so this is my favorite Disney villains item that I own. The next category is perfect park outfit. Now, I have a very specific perfect park outfit that just happened in Disneyland and I realized like this is the ultimate Disney park outfit. I love it. So I will pop an image up on the screen, but it is my Monsters University ears that I made. So they're solely ears and they have like the little Monsters University hat or bow, but it looks like the hat. And I'm wearing a Monsters University shirt that I got from Box Lunch and it is just a very basic shirt. It's blue, it says Monsters University and it is so comfortable. And then I would wear with that boyfriend jeans from American Eagle. If you guys have not worn these jeans, oh my gosh, they are so comfortable. They are a little bit oversized and then they have tears down the front and they are so cool and so comfortable and they are a little bit um, short on the shorter side. So I like to roll them up a little bit and then I like to wear Converse sneakers with them and oh my gosh, such a comfortable outfit. I'm not really a shorts person so I do like ripped jeans to like make myself a little bit cooler. Um, but that is my perfect Disney Parks outfit. The next category is favorite Disney item from a specialty event. So I have two because I couldn't decide, I'm sorry. Um, the first one is the Poisoned Apple Mug and I got this in 2016, but this mug is beautiful. It's clear red and you can pop it open and all of the all of the white that you see is actually glow in the dark which is super awesome so i will show you a um, an image of it when it glows in the dark but this is just such a cool item it's always on display it's not one of those things that i put out just for halloween because i think it is so fun so this is my favorite one of my favorite specialty event items um Oh, and this came with, um, this actually came with a caramel apple sundae inside of it that was delicious. And I remember eating the caramel apple sundae um, while we were waiting for the Boo to You parade. And it just like, I don't know, it's one of those things, like when you see it, like you have those memories that come back with it. And I just, oh, it makes me love it for that reason because Mickey's Not So Scary is my most favorite event. And then also I have another item from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And the reason why I love this item so much is it was my first Mickey's Not So Scary, which was back in 2011. And I went with my grandparents and I just really fell in love with this jack-o-lantern. So it is a Mickey Mouse jack-o-lantern and it's plush and it's got Figaro inside and Figaro's got his little hat and what I love, this is my favorite part, so you turn it around and look his little tail! So Figaro's tail pops out of the back and it's actually like if you feel it, if you can feel his entire, his entire tail and I think that that is just so cute and this is the only item that I have out in the main part of my house that is for Halloween that is a Disney item and so I just think it's really special I put it out every single year since I purchased it and it just reminds me of the first Mickey's not so scary and it was a really special time for me to be there like with my grandparents and my husband it was during our third anniversary um, and so we are going back the exact same week just in a few days uh, to celebrate our 10 year anniversary which is yeah it's just really cool so anyway this is my specialty events item. 
And the final item is your overall favorite item from your collection. So you guys might be surprised by this item. Now I will say it is a little broken. Um, it stays in my office at work. But what it is, is it is the Dumbo Ride Salt and Pepper Shaker. And it's got Mickey and Minnie riding in Dumbo. And what I love about this is that I keep this in the corner of my office. I have a little lamp and a little stand and I keep it there. And every time I get frustrated, I always find myself kind of like swiveling my chair and like focusing in on this item. And it just takes me out of some of the stress of, you know, everyday life and work. And that's what it really represents to me. What's crazy is I bought this in the parks for $14 and it just brings me so much joy. I just absolutely love it. And purple is my favorite color. And I just always, and I always choose choose the purple Dumbo <laughs> and so it just I really really love this item and I just think it's very unique and I will never use it as a salt and pepper shaker but that is my most favorite item from my Disney collection okay guys that's it for the look at this stuff isn't it neat Disney collection tag video I'm going to leave all of the tag information down below if you guys would like to do this tag but I have a few Disney friends that I want to tag I would love to tag Becca from Disney Kitty I would love to see her collection I'm sure she's got some really amazing items and then I also want to tag Daphne from Thomas Ever After and Katie from Over the Mooney so you guys thank you so 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 much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up also please subscribe down below and also don't forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified when I post videos I post videos every Monday and Thursday I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you guys really soon TTFN bye